Hey, what's up, VC? It's Steve again, Harmless Rebel, and this is my response to Noah, um, the uh, Vinyl Show's uh, Christmas contest. Man, I can't believe I haven't found this channel until now. Uh, I gotta thank Scott, uh, Scott Waters for uh, responding to this contest. Uh, I love punk. Um, I show it every once in a while. I don't run across it as much as I used to, but when I do, I do show it. Um, but it's really cool to see a, a really good punk channel. So uh, uh, thanks, Noah, for, for putting it together. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, go into my story. He wanted us to, to share a story about a punk rock show. Um, so in 90, late 94, early 95, the Beastie Boys were uh, touring for Ill Communication. And... Uh, the opening band was Bad Brains. Um, now, I was familiar with Bad Brains at the time, um, but I wasn't a big fan of theirs. I'm still, they're not one of my favorite punk bands. Um, I am a fan of the, of, the, of the Washington punk scene. They're just one of the bands I never really got into. I, I lean more towards Ian McKay, uh, his sound uh, with Minor Threat, and uh, um, I would say Henry Rollins. Who, who was uh, later in Black Flag. I, you know, I, I actually prefer the earlier Black Flag over Henry Rollins' Black Flag, but uh, um, I just never really got hardcore into Bad Brains. Uh, having said that, um, they put on a killer show. I, I was really blown away by how good the show uh, was. And then what was really cool was uh, after the show was over, um, the Beastie Boys came on and Bad Brains actually came into the audience and they watched the show with us. They were getting into the mosh pit, um, introducing themselves and, and letting fans take pictures and uh, uh, the, my girlfriend at the time that I was with and I got to meet them um, we took a picture with them which is I'm sure long gone by now I haven't seen it in probably 15 years but uh, um, we did get to meet the band and, and, and they were very cool it was cool just hanging out with them and, and, and watching the show and they were having a blast um, now I've talked about this show before it was an important show for me for a couple of reasons um, the Beastie Boys came on and they were doing their funk instrumentals and their their uh, their jazz instrumentals and that got me really uh, looking into jazz music um, after that show as a drummer I really liked what uh, they were doing um, musically uh, so that got me looking at jazz for the first time um, but it also turned me on to something else um, they had just released some old bullshit and uh, if you're familiar with this the first side is all their their early punk songs which is actually what we're listening to right now. A lot of people don't realize the Beastie Boys started off as a punk band. They were part of the CBGB scene in the, in the early 80s. And they played a couple of songs off of this. They played Egg Raid on Mojo and they played Transit Cop, um, which are both awesome songs. Um, but that got me into the Beastie Boys punk music. Um, they've released this, um, Aglio e Olio, uh, and then uh, this is actually a compilation of their first couple of uh, EPs from the, from the early 80s, uh, which I always forget the names of them. Kooky Puss and... I know it's right here somewhere. Uh, Pollywog Stew, which is here. And Kooky Puss. So that show also introduced me to the Beastie Boys Punk, which I actually listen to now more than the the other Beastie. I have uh, four of the Beastie Boys albums, and uh, some old bullshit and Aglio and uh, Aglio e Olio are really the only two albums from theirs that I listen to at this point. Uh, and I'm a big fan of both of these. So uh, if you do like punk, I uh, highly recommend uh, both of the uh, punk albums, or if you can find the original EPs, uh, pick those up from the Beastie Boys. So. Uh, that's my story. Uh, as much as I like punk, I haven't been to a whole lot of punk shows. The only other punk bands that I've seen live are Rancid, who I saw at one of the Lollapaloozas, uh, Bouncing Souls, who is also there, and then I've seen like No Effects and Bad Religion a couple of times as well. So, um, but I mean, that's the only getting to meet Bad Brains was uh, the only real experience that I've had uh, at a punk show, other than just going and, and listening to some kick-ass music. So. Uh, um, that's it. Again, Noah, I, I really like the show. I'll, I'll definitely be uh, watching that from now on. Uh, uh, take care, guys. Uh, and have a good one, DC.